Well, hello friends. So for this organizing session Saturday, I'm going to show you how I transformed this skinny freezer to maximize space. And as a quick reminder, we are going strong with the November home organizing challenge. So be sure to download that if you haven't already or tag me at Terry Elizabeth LLC. As you can see, this freezer is skinny enough, but the ice maker just takes up way too much space. We decided we didn't need that much ice and that this ice tray with this bin was more than sufficient. It can hold about five or six ice trays full. With the ice maker removed, I knew the ice bin would fit perfectly next to the mechanism, so I just needed a shelf to hold it up there. I came across this glass cutting board, which was all by itself, all lonesome in the clearance section of a discount store. I pulled out my measuring tape from my purse and was so happy to find that it was the perfect size to create a shelf for the ice bin. Then, for the section below this new shelf, it was quite tall, so I knew I needed to find some stacking shelves to divide this into two or three sections. The width was exactly 10 inches wide. I searched online and found that Bed Bath & Beyond had these iDesign stacking shelves made for the bathroom that were 10 inches deep. I got two and used coupons, of course. Then, when I got home, they were snug and sat like this. Being that the shelf is plastic, I knew it would shrink in the cold. So, I let it chill and it contracted and fit perfectly. I zip tied the front of the shelf to the wire shelf. And here I am squeezing myself into the freezer to zip tie it in the back. I then turned the little knobby thing of the zip ties to the back so that they wouldn't interfere with anything coming in or out of the freezer from the top or bottom of this area. Then I inserted the second shelf above this shelf. Because these are made to stack on top of each other, they have a groove on each end which holds the shelf in place. I then used these Made Smart bins that I got from the bathroom section at Target. You can label them with dry erase marker. But I just used my label maker. And at the bottom here, I just reinserted the drawer that comes with the freezer after I cleaned it out. So there you go, my friend. After removing the ice maker, I gained three shelves, one of which holds this ice bin perfectly. I will link to all these products on my blog. The link is in the description box below. I have been filming some meal prep videos for you so be sure to subscribe so you can see when this freezer is filled with a month's worth of meal planning. And don't forget to download the November Home Organizing Challenge calendar if you haven't already. The link is below. Happy organizing!